Former astronaut and U.S. Senator Bill Nelson has initiated an inquiry into unidentified sightings. A group of scientists appointed by NASA held their initial public meeting to discuss unidentified anomalous phenomena. They emphasized the need for more reliable data collection methods to uncover the truth about these sightings, as anecdotal reports alone are not sufficient. After the UAP hearing, Bill Nelson came forward and said the following. I decided, as the head of NASA, since there's so much suspicion about aliens, that I would appoint a committee of very distinguished scientists. That committee is delivering and will make their report available next month. I can tell you in the meantime, until you hear their report, that they will consider our sensors in space and our scientific sensors in trying to determine this phenomenon. So wait until next month and you will have an answer. End quote. The 16-person panel created last year at the behest of NASA Administrator Bill Nelson, is not itself evaluating unidentified objects. Instead, it is advising NASA on how the agency can contribute to federal investigations that have been led by the Department of Defense and Intelligence Agencies, says panel chair David Spurgle, an astrophysicist and president of the Simons Foundation. He said that NASA is a public agency, an open agency, that encourages the use of the scientific method for looking at results. But science can only be done when there is data to work on, he adds. He further added that you're not going to learn much from fuzzy pictures from the 1950s. According to Spurgle, the majority of the phenomena classified as unidentified by the military are often found to be weather balloons, drones, camera malfunctions, or secret military aircraft. However, in recent years, Pilots and high-up military officials who have actually seen these objects have countered these claims and said that these mysterious objects are very much real and that as of right now, they are unsure of what they are and how they are able to achieve some of the things they do, adding that they're easily able to outmaneuver their aircrafts, don't have any visible propulsion system and have the ability to enter restricted airspace without being detected. This is one of the reasons why people think that the government doesn't want to reveal what they know, adding that these unidentified objects are a security threat. One pilot summed it up by saying the following, We are flying around in aircrafts that are allegedly the most sophisticated on the planet, that took decades of engineering just to get them in the air. Then you encounter one of these unidentified objects that's able to beat your aircraft in every way. Suddenly, you're left with many questions and it means that your aircraft is no longer the most dominant force in the sky, which raises many questions. End quote. Over the past few years, unidentified object research has become more credible due to the release of videos captured by Navy pilots, which depict objects moving in unusual patterns. Extensive media attention led to the establishment of the Department of Defense's All-Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, responsible for studying and producing yearly reports on this subject. However, due to the classification of a significant portion of the Pentagon's aerial imagery, the scientific inquiry by civilian researchers into unidentified aerial phenomena has been impeded by a shroud of mystery. NASA streamed the panel gathering in real time from a platform set up in the auditorium at the agency's main office, which is not typical for a scientific advisory committee. While introducing the event, Nikki Fox, the head of NASA's science division, mentioned that the agency viewed the meeting as an extraordinary opportunity for the general public to observe the scientific process in action. Panel member Carlin Toner, who serves as the acting executive director of the Federal Aviation Administration's Office of Aviation Policy and Plans, suggested that a significant step the agency could take is to remove the stigma surrounding participation in this research, similar to how the military encourages pilots to report sightings. Toner stated that NASA can play a role in creating a safer environment for researchers to delve into this data. According to All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office Director Sean Kirkpatrick, NASA could potentially assist by assessing whether their existing telescopes or satellites are capable of capturing unidentified aerial phenomena that are commonly reported to the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, primarily from pilots. The All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office is currently in the process of evaluating over 800 reports and has a NASA liaison embedded within their organization. They are collaborating with scientists from various universities and national laboratories to analyze their classified data for any UAP-related information. Additionally, 
the office intends to deploy sensors in specific areas to detect and monitor UAPs. According to Paula Bontempi, a panel member and biological oceanographer at the University of Rhode Island, most of NASA's Earth-observing satellites are not optimized for detecting unidentified aerial phenomena due to their sensors being designed for specific purposes. Mike Gold, another panel member and a former senior NASA official who now works as an executive vice president at Redwire, expressed that the speed at which UAPs move would pose a challenge for NASA satellites to capture. Rather than finding small and elusive objects, Gold suggested that satellites are more inclined to observe large objects that move slowly, likening them to really big haystacks. The International Space Station, a symbol of global collaboration and a beacon of human progress, has been in low Earth orbit since its launch in 1998. Over the years, there have been numerous reports and claims of unidentified objects observed near the International Space Station. These sightings have sparked debates, fueled speculation, and intrigued both skeptics and believers. Many of these sightings near the International Space Station come from footage transmitted from the station's live camera feed. Space enthusiasts and those interested in the unknown scrutinize this footage, often identifying anomalies that they claim could potentially be advanced spacecrafts. However, discerning whether these sightings are evidence of advanced civilizations is a complex matter. The primary challenge lies in the identification of these objects. Several factors can cause objects near the space station to appear strange or inexplicable. Reflections from the station's windows, lens flares, space debris, and even ice particles dislodged from the space station itself can all manifest as bright, unidentifiable objects moving in the vast backdrop of space. The space station orbits in the midst of what NASA calls space junk, debris from defunct satellites, spent rocket stages, and fragments from disintegration, erosion, and collisions. This high-speed celestial clutter could easily be mistaken for unidentified objects due to the speed at which they travel and their unpredictable trajectories. In addition, the cameras used on the space station are susceptible to producing lens flares and other optical artifacts that can also appear as unidentified objects. It is also important to consider that many objects seen in space don't follow the same physics as in Earth's atmosphere, leading to movements and behaviors that may seem strange or inexplicable. While the explanation for most sightings can be attributed to these factors, there are instances where objects seen near the space station remain unexplained. These instances are harder to dismiss and continue to provoke curiosity. However, even these cases are not straightforward evidence of advanced visitation. The lack of contextual information, such as object size and precise distance, makes definitive conclusions impossible to ascertain. Nonetheless, the enduring interest in unidentified objects near the International Space Station reflects a broader fascination with the possibility of advanced life. Every unexplained sighting, every ambiguous object, stirs our collective curiosity about what lies beyond our planet. In recent years, there has been an important shift in the discussion about unidentified objects, highlighted by the US government's increased transparency. The Department of Defense's release of several unclassified videos showing unidentified aerial phenomena, or UAPs, has renewed public interest in the subject and legitimized the scientific study of these phenomena. With the advent of new technologies and analytical methods, the prospect of identifying these unexplained objects is becoming more feasible. While it is essential to approach claims of unidentified objects with a healthy dose of skepticism, the persistent mystery of unexplained sightings near the International Space Station serves as a reminder of the vastness of the universe and the scope of what we have yet to discover. As of right now, some sightings still defy explanation. These instances, although not concrete evidence of advanced life, undoubtedly fuel our fascination with the cosmos and our desire to uncover its many mysteries. Interestingly, this isn't the only place where mysterious objects have been observed. Our Sun, a symbol of life and energy, has been a subject of fascination and study for as long as humans have turned their gaze to the sky. In recent years, with the development of advanced telescopes and satellite technology, this fascination has taken a unique turn as numerous reports and claims of unidentified objects near the Sun have emerged. 
These sightings typically originate from images and videos obtained by NASA's Solar and Heliospheric Observatory and the Solar Dynamics Observatory, satellites launched to monitor the Sun's activity. Enthusiasts and independent researchers, often examining the publicly available data from these missions, point to anomalies that they interpret as possible advanced crafts. However, understanding these anomalies and their implications is far from simple. Identifying these objects is complicated by a number of factors, including the nature of the images and videos, the object's proximity to the Sun, and the unique physics of the solar environment. One of the primary challenges lies in the interpretation of the imagery. The cameras on board NASA's Solar and Heliospheric Observatory and the Solar Dynamics Observatory use different filters and imaging techniques to observe various aspects of the Sun, from solar flares to coronal mass ejections. These complex imaging processes can sometimes produce artifacts, misinterpreted as unidentifiable objects. For instance, cosmic rays hitting the camera's sensor can cause bright streaks or dots in the images, often mistaken for unidentified objects. Similarly, processing errors, reflections, and even dust particles on the camera lens can create distortions that appear as strange objects. The proximity of these anomalies to the Sun also presents challenges to the unidentified object theory. The intense heat and radiation of the Sun would make it an inhospitable environment for most forms of technology as we understand them. Any spacecraft able to withstand these conditions would have to be incredibly advanced, far beyond our current technological capabilities. That said, these explanations do not account for all the anomalies observed. There are instances where objects appearing near the Sun remain unexplained, fueling speculation and curiosity. Even though these cases cannot be definitively concluded as evidence of extraterrestrial activity, they present an interesting phenomenon that invites further scrutiny. The idea of unidentified objects near the Sun taps into our broader curiosity about the possibility of intelligent advanced life. With every unexplained sighting, our collective imagination about what might exist beyond our understanding is stirred. Importantly, the discussion around unidentified objects has experienced a significant shift in recent years. Governments around the world, notably the US Department of Defense, have acknowledged the existence of unidentified aerial phenomena, legitimizing the scientific study of these occurrences. This shift is slowly eroding the stigma associated with UFO research, allowing for more open discussion and analysis. As of right now, while the majority of unidentified objects near the Sun can be attributed to known phenomena or artifacts of the imaging process, some instances remain unexplained and intriguing. So, what do you make of these recent announcements? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos.